Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'll be teaching you how to play Panic at Disco Don't Threaten Me That's new song Okay, that's not the whole name of the song but uh, you get the point Okay, so I'll be teaching you the introduction and also the catchy chorus Okay, so let's jump straight into it The two hands for the chorus go something like this no, not chorus, introduction goes something like this So. Very simple, right? Okay, so jumping into the right hand, it just goes G sharp. So this is middle C, right? C and then G sharp. So G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. And then G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. Okay, so it's pretty simple. So it's uh, four individual notes at the start. So G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and then three notes: G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, and then five notes: G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, alternating notes, and then another three notes, which is the G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. And then five notes with uh, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp. So it's all alternating. Like that. Okay, and then the chords for the left hand is very simple. Just C minor chord, C sharp, E, and G sharp. And then you press that again the second time. And then you repeat that another time. And that's your introduction for you. So, uh, when you put the two hands together, it will be like this. So you start off with your right hand by itself. So G sharp, when you play the C sharp here, C sharp minor comes in together. After the G sharp, C sharp minor comes in by itself. And you repeat the whole line again. And then the C sharp together. After the G sharp again, C sharp minor by itself. Okay. So it's pretty easy. We can add stuff later on into it to make it more big. So something, if you see in my cover, I do like... Yes. So I doubled up on the octaves so it made it more louder and intense. And then the left hand is just C sharp minor so you can do whatever you want with it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, so that's the introduction for you. And the chorus now. So, okay, so the chorus for two hands goes something like this. Let me record this. Okay, so it goes... Let's jump straight into it. So the right hand starts on the same G sharp as the introduction. So G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then this is let me see one two three four, six G sharps in a row, fast. One two three four five six, and then B C sharp. B, G sharp. And then again, six G sharps fast in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then B, C sharp, B, G sharp. Okay, that's the first part of the chorus. So um, let's just get, get onto this first. So, okay, let's do the first part of the chorus again. So G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E. F sharp, G sharp, and then we have the six G sharps. One, two, three, four, five, six. B, C sharp, B, G sharp, and then we have the six G sharps again. One, two, three, four, five, six. B, C sharp, B, G sharp. Okay, so that's the right hand for you. The first part of it, because the chorus is a bit long, so it's split in half. Okay, so the chords for the left hand, it's pretty simple. It's uh, four chords. Repeat it twice in this first part and repeat it another twice for the second part, which I'm going to teach you after. Okay, so these are the four chords C sharp minor, C sharp, E, G sharp, and 
then uh, it'll be a uh, second inversion of C sharp minor so that would be G sharp C sharp E and then A major which is A C sharp E and the fourth chord in this four chord series is B major B D sharp F sharp yes and that's the first time you, and then you repeat that again for the second line of the first part teaching you C sharp minor second inversion and B major. Okay, so let's put the two hands together. So it's uh, both hands come in together. All right, yeah, it comes in together. So G sharp and C sharp minor comes in together. So we play the E, left hand comes in. And then after the G sharp, A major comes in by itself. We play the E, B major comes in together. And then after the G sharp, C sharp minor by itself. And then after the C sharp minor, you instantly play the fast uh, six G sharps in a row. And then when you play the C sharp, the second inversion chord comes in together. After the G sharp on the right hand, A major comes in by itself. And then straight after the A on the left, uh, the six G sharps in a row fast quickly comes in. And then when you play the C sharp, B major comes in together. Good job. So let's do it again. So together, together, here, together, here, together, here, together. Okay, one last time. Together, together, here. That's the first part of the chorus. Now we're going to go to the second part of the chorus now. So uh, the right hand starts off the same, pretty much the same, but not together. So it's only G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then again G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and an extra G sharp. And then this last part is a different part. So it's four G sharps followed by three F sharps. So one, two, three, four, and then three F sharps. One, two, three, and then seven F sharps in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then after that, high C sharp, and then G sharp. And that's it. Okay, so let's go through that second part of the chorus again. So G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then it repeats. G sharp, C sharp, C sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, and then an extra G sharp before we go on to the four G sharps. One, two, three, four, and then three F sharps. One, two, three, and then the seven F sharps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then up to C sharp, and then G sharp. And that's it. The chords are exactly the same. Uh, so two times of the four chord cycle, C sharp minor, the, the second version, A major, and B major. Okay. So let's jump straight into getting into both hands, telling you when to you play it. Okay, so left hand by itself first, so C sharp minor by itself, and then the right hand comes in. And you play the E, second version chord together. After the G sharp, A major comes in by itself. You play the E, B major comes in together. And then we play that four G sharp thingy, the first G sharp you already play with the C sharp minor like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, and then when you play the seven F sharps, the first F sharp comes in the second inversion chord together. Three, four, five, six, seven, and then A major after that by itself, and then C sharp, G sharp, and after the G sharp, B major comes in by itself. Okay, so let's try that second part of the chorus again. Right, so let's go uh, here together. Here, together, 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 here, here, let's do it again, here, together, here, together, together, 
Skiller Skiller Here Here Okay, so let's play the whole chorus uh, once again uh, I'll play it once normally and once we've added stuff So. final treat I'm just gonna tell you the chords for the verse so you can try it out for yourself the verse is the repeating chords of four chords and uh, repeated all the time so uh, the verse and the pre-chorus is the same chords so these are the four chords I'll tell you right now so quickly C sharp minor C sharp E G sharp the second chord is C augmented five C E G sharp the third chord is second version of E major so B, E, G sharp, and then the fourth chord in the series is A major, A, C sharp, E. Okay, so these are the four chords that is repeated all over again in the verse and the pre-chorus. If you want to sing over it for you guitar lovers or anything else, you can play with it. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, just practice all these parts. If you missed out on any parts, just rewind the lesson and go back and just, yeah, work it on it again. And then after this lesson, you can just check out all my other covers and also tutorials because they do many, many of them. And you can just enjoy it. And as for now, um, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. Hey there, I'm glad that you finished this lesson. You must love music just like I do, so don't forget to subscribe for more of these lessons on many other new songs in the future. As a reward for finishing this lesson, I firstly want to give you a free trial on the piano method that I have created and use every day in my piano covers, spending around 10 to 20 minutes learning and recording a song almost instantly without the slow methods of sheet music or synthesia. Secondly, if you are a curious student who wants to learn more than what is in this lesson and download the full chords and melody of this and every other song in the future for you to play for yourself starting from this song onwards, then become my Patreon. And for your final gift, click the video on the right to view my full performance of this very song that you have just learnt.